Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today you've got me, instead of looking at my red tablecloth and um, my hands, opening stuff. Um, so, I've just been for a retool or a retool fit. Um, got my uh, results on my laptop there as I'm looking at it. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I went for a fit because um, I had a, um, like a basic, just a basic specialised um, bike fit when I bought my bike, um, what are we now, 2019, so five years ago. Um, but since I bought this Yolio bike, I wanted a proper fit, so um, after a few months of riding it, a little bit of um, problems, so I went for a fit, um, like this digital, uber technical fit, just goes with my, uh, with my with my mind, with my mindset, get the digital numbers down and see where we're at. So um, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, you get loads of sticky dots. If you Velcro sticky dots um, and they're all connected up by, um, obviously they put things on the sticky dots, it's connected by wires and in real time you get a, like a little uh, mocap person um, and you can see yourself cycling along um, just one side and then they spin you around and do the other side. So you get a dot on your uh, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee, ankle, heel and where your uh, fifth metatarsal head is. And they connect them all up um, and then you cycle and then the computer brings up all these numbers and uh, whether they're in between the we're in between the good range, as it were, and uh, anything that's red is outside of the range. I had a few reds, and we'll come on to that in a minute, um, but mostly I was green. Uh, pretty cool. So, what you do when you turn up? You go in, you get a questionnaire, just a basic one, then you get a medical, uh, not a medical, uh well, it's kind of like a medical, but uh, it's not really. How flexible you are, whether you can lift your arms above your head, whether your legs are longer than the other. Um, can you touch the ground with with your legs straight or slightly bent? Um, are you, uh, do your feet turn in or out? Are the soles of your feet twisted? All different things like that. Um, so after that, then you get on the bike. Um, what we did for me, I'll just uh, briefly run through it, then I'll show you on the computer my results. Um, a before and after, uh, different measurements in case any of you are geeks like me. Um, um, I've lost my thread, I've lost my thread, where were we? Uh, yes, so, um, I don't know where I was, I'm just going to keep rambling. Okay, so what we ended up doing was we ended up fitting me with green uh, specialised insoles. I did have red in, but we've gone up two levels to green. Obviously, um, with the more technological bike fit, you get better results because the last bike fit I had, I only needed red. And I'm not sure my archers got any higher through, uh, through natural causes. So I've gone to green, which is the maximum in the specialised insole. We've moved my cleats, I think, we've moved them back so that my foot is more over the axle or slightly in front, just so I was getting a few hot spots there. Because um, when I change shoes to my bunts, if you've been looking at the channel, um, I just kind of guessed where they would go. And um, they were a little bit too far back. So we've moved them forward. Um, also, we have... Um, recommended that I buy a new stem, longer, so I've ordered that. And also, um, flat aero bars, because I did have a 25 mil riser bar um, with a 100 mil stem, 100 mil multi specialized stem. So now I've ordered um, a, because I like the look of it, an S-Works 2019 Venge six degree stem, or minus six. Um, and I've ordered the new Aerofly 2 flat uh, bars 
Um, obviously, I'll sell my old stuff to recuperate some of the money, and they're still pretty good. They haven't actually done that many miles, to be fair, so I should be getting a good price for those. So, what I'll do now, we'll just uh, switch the camera around and we'll look at my angles and measurements. Okay, so this is the uh, before. This is the initial report, uh, my Yolio R6 Aerodisc Road. Um, as you can see, uh, I had a minus eight degree, that's the multi, um, 100 mil stem, no spaces, crank length of that, pedals of that, bars is the uh, specialized area 42, 25 mil rise, and bump 44 shoes. Um, so, um, what we'll do, is we'll go from here straight to the final. So measurements and angles. The saddle height was 763 and the final, oops, as it goes the wrong way, was 756. That's the final. So um, saddle setback, minus 73. Oops, saddle setback minus 46. So just uh, moving all these things. See angle five to finish, and it was plus two to start. Um, that might be why I was getting a bit of pain uh, where my hamstrings attached to my bones. Um, seat tube angle, you can't really change, I don't think. Um, so we've got a grip angle and frame stack. Initial, final. Grip angle 21, frame stack 570, frame reach 401. So um, we've gone further forward, actually, much further forward on the uh, handlebar, because what we did, although we didn't put a new stem on at the time, we used um, if I go up to the final, we used their uh, retail stem um, and we wound it out to 125 mil, which is actually comfortable. And that equates to apparently uh, minus six or minus eight degree stem, 120 mil and flat bars because I did have a 100 mil with 25 mil rise. So uh, moving on to the handlebar reach, this is the final 566. And the initial was 5.48, so um, lots of technical uh, stuff here. If I ever need to set up a new bike again, I can just go to my final report, give it to them and say, set that up um, exactly how it is. Grip width you can't change, obviously. Uh, to, that might be in it, a good one. 5.72, grip reach initial and... 620. So as you can see, we've gone longer there. So just to zoom out here, that's um, the final report. And then down, we've got the initial report there. All my numbers, which is cool. And then at the end, um, it just tells you what they all are, yeah? All these different things. So I'll just uh, do that slowly so you can see. Road bike definitions, yeah. Retool or retool. Okay. Lots of different stuff. If you've got aero bars, you've got arm pad, whips, and things like that. All lots of different things that you can. Um, that you can have. So, so as you can see, it's pretty comprehensive. Um, it was actually quite interesting in real time, just pedaling away and then just altering like my body position and seeing all the numbers get thrown out, like wobbling my knees. You had a, a little, like a line of how your knees were tracking. And so I started doing all this and in real time, just for fun. Uh, my knee's actually 20, um, each side between 20 and 25 mil um, 
movement. So there, that was a lot better than I thought. It wasn't even a measurement I thought they'd be looking for. I thought it was just how your angles were. Put the put the machine to your side. The camera like measures variance as well, and how much your hips are rocking and um, really good. So if you're thinking of having um, one of those fits um, over here, it was about. Uh, I'm trying to think because it was included with my insoles. I had to pay for those as well. Um, let me break it down. Uh, 175 um, where I live. Um, and I think that was a three hour session, but we actually were finished in about two hours 10. Because um, there wasn't a lot of changes that needed to happen. Just that forward, just the forward bit. Everything else was okay. Saddle down. Um, saddle angle, uh, cleats, insoles, handlebars, pretty much everything else was, was actually pretty good. So I'm a, I was a pretty good judge myself of where my, where my height should be because we only moved a little. Um, so if you're, um, as I said, if you're thinking about getting one, just, just do, um, just to make yourself more sure that you're in the right position. I mean, I was kind of sure, but I had a little bit of that pain, as I said, just to get, um, when I was sitting down, it kind of just puts you off going out for a mega ride. If you know after 15 miles, it's gonna be starting to ache. So um, that seems to have sorted it, hopefully. Um, it, it was a lot more comfortable on the test and um, that I know that doesn't transfer to riding, you know, for like 60, 70 miles. Well, hopefully it should have sorted it. So uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for, um, thanks for coming to watch my retool, retool um, <laughs> uh, review, see how it went. And um, I'll do a video next of uh, when my stem comes, when my bars come. Um, and then when I get the bike back from the shop. So thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. I uh, appreciate all your support and your comments. We'll see you on Kairos next time. Take care. Bye.